What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking tackle or uh, weights and how I do it from the kayak, how I drop this bait and what I use and how I use it, all right? So if you guys wanna see uh, the technique or the way I drop this bait down off the kayak, stay tuned. Q Fishing TV and in today's video we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about tackle and some of the gear that I use or at least one specific item that I use while I'm offshore you know I, I get some questions sometimes like yo how do you drop your baits down you know deep down in the in the deep water well I use a specific product that I picked up and I did some research on you know I don't knock anybody's ways I'm not saying one way is better than the other I just happened to come across a good product I liked it was affordable and I said, what? Let me just give it a try. I'm always down to make life a little bit simpler and easier. So came across a specific product that I researched on YouTube. Go figure, right? Product or the specific product that I came across is called Fisher King Clips. Weighted clips, all right? And what this does, I don't know if you guys came across it. It actually allows you to hook up your sinkers to a specific thing Instead of hooking it onto a rubber band, which a lot of kayakers I know do, which is not a bad thing, but when you're out on the water, water is, you know, it's, time is key. So you need to get your weight off as quickly as possible. Yes, uh, breaking the rubber band is, doesn't take that long, you know, and it's not a bad thing. But um, this specific product, Fisher King Weighted Clips, this was designed for the balloon fishermen guys that wanted to fish with their baits up top of the water and a hook up, you'll be able to latch a balloon right in this specific section right here. Keep your baits on the water. Well, this clip allows you to clip it on to your line where your swivel is or where your knot is. All right, since this is plastic, you can't keep this that far because if you're using fluorocarbon leader or braid, it will move with the current in the water up until there's a stop point, which would be a knot or a swivel. I actually, it's very simple. I'm using a eight ounce sinker here. That's what you do. This comes clipped into here. I don't know if I can show you that. Comes clipped into here. And what I do is Put my weight on it. It's fairly simple. I kind of pre rigged this before I leave how heavy of a weight I'm going to use for that day. And I clip it back on. And it goes like that. All right, guys. So put my weight on, as you can see. I pull in the clip right there, just like that. So I latch it on. I don't know if you can see that part. All right, guys. And I'm going to use this fishing line here that I have with a tactical angler clip all right and what I do is I pinch I don't know if you guys can see this or how good you can see the latch squeeze it and put your line in it's hard to do this when you're Boom. So this is what I do. And I drop my leader down or drop my weight down. So um, for you mutton guys or you guys uh, trolling live baits and you guys want to drop it down 50 to 100 feet, this is what I use. This is how I use it. And then um, basically when I'm on the water and it's coming up, as you can see how it slides, it can slide, you know, depending on the type of line. Um, I just basically unclip it, boom, and reel my fish in. So it's a useful device. Uh, let me 
let you guys see what it once again it's called Fisher King weight clips it's reusable push button weight clips works for every eye bank sinker for maximum durability this is a three pack and it's I don't know if you can see it is for an ounce ounce and a half sinker or higher all right very easy to use it's worth the money um, you can find these on Amazon you can find them at Kingfisher um, clips.com yeah Fisher King weight clips dot com all right so it's pretty cool this is how I get my baits down and basically I put the video a little bit here of uh, when I was reeling in that sailfish that you'll see me reach in the screen and basically unclip this boom and it took me less than a second or two to actually pull this off compared to holding the line and kind of ripping the rubber band um, like most South Florida guys or guys that I know um, which is not a problem but I just came across this unique uh, specific gadget it's a three pack um, I think for less than 20 bucks so it's not that bad yeah um, you can probably get rubber bands a dollar for a dollar but um, this is what I came across it was very useful so it has two purposes um, one to drop the bait down like you see here and the other is basically you could take this metal little clip here and you can tie a balloon for those guys that like to fish with the baits at the top and need that indicator where the balloon um, you can use this from a boat or from a kayak um, tie your balloon knot and you just kind of cinch it there and your balloon will be floating so multi-purpose tool um, but there's something I came across and I thought it was unique and letting you guys know and see this is how I get my weights down or my baits down excuse me down deep in the water column so um, if you guys like it just you know you can get some at the link I'll put the link again down in the description or the link for Amazon as well so if you find it on Amazon you want to help this channel out purchase it from here and uh, be truly appreciated so that's all I got for you guys today on uh, the specific uh, weight and how we how we drop it down from a kayak or from what I do um, it's very simple so you guys uh, have any questions put them in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video guys so uh, stay tuned we're dropping videos spring bite is here and uh, we're gonna get on them for you so stay tuned guys Thank you.